In this video help, I'm going to do a little bit more coverage from the owner screen on the, and if I go to the tab, owner inventory, we can look at the owner inventory report and the owner by address. Let's start with the owner by address report. Now there's only one record in the system right now on the samples, so I'm going to take a look at that. What this screen does is it is a listing of all of the items that are by an address. And for example, it would be the address at the top and then each individual item that was added at that address. So you can get an inventory running if you wanted to print it out or take it on an iPad or whatever and walk around and do an inventory of what is in the location safe between a lease to verify that everything is in the proper place and it is all there. Uh, you can go ahead and verify that all the items are not are there and not taken away by the, the tenant. Now, obviously, it's a good idea to do this just before the tenant uh, departs the area so that you can have a correct inventory and when you're settling up that you have all the funds that would pay back for damage or missing items that were a part of the original inventory, like the item that we're talking about here, which is a big flat screen TV. Now, if you go back into the record itself or go back to owner, either way, it's going to take you to that record. And in this case, it's taking you to the portal record for the individual. And then you can jump back into the uh, owner's screen from this icon here to come back in and view the inventory. Either way, what it's going to do, it's going to take you to that particular location for the item that is in the inventory. If there were 7, 20, 30, 100 items listed here, they would be in that report for the address that's actually listed. And that would be the in the owner inventory by address report. Now, when you're in this report again, I want to just make sure that you know you could do the find. And what typically you would do is you would go to the address for the different premises that you're looking for. So if these were apartments or whatever, what you'd want to do is make sure that it what it is is the address and what apartment it is in as far as the unit is concerned. And then go ahead and run the report. That way you would have that inventory for that particular unit. Uh, the next thing you would do is do the find, go in, add that, and then do the do find, which will show you those items. Now let's go back to the owner screen, back to the owner's inventory tab, and now we'll look at the report. Now this is a little different than the other one. What this does is it summarizes the value of the items within the location where you're at and gives you the information for that particular uh, residence or and or unit that you're looking at. It will give you that running inventory and then a total of the items that are actually in that inventory and they're itemized individually so you can get a count and amount of what you're actually looking for in that premises. If you need to run this report, once again, you could either do it by looking for the item itself that's in there or you could look for the address and or an item or either one of those. Uh, the main thing in this is that you want to make sure that you have the condition and count so that when you do your inventory at that location, that you have all the items that are supposed to be there between tenants as they come and go. Thank you for taking this video.